All right, so I want to test out. Just gonna cut these in half once. I want to test this out. All right, guys, today, Man Cave Tools, we are gonna be testing out the new, well, it's new last year. This is actually a competitor to the Milwaukee Super Sawzall. I actually wanna break this in by doing some demo work. So let's actually go to the backyard and chop up a bunch of four by fours and two by fours and four by sixes, and let's see how well this actually does. We will be using a 12 amp hour battery. Battery is full, Love Flex's battery indicator level. We're gonna talk about the features and specs later on in the video. We are gonna use flex blades. We have a six inch bimetal blade and a uh, nine inch bimetal blade. Both of these are demo uh, blades. So I did not buy this, so flex sent this to me. Uh, no contract, no payment, no nothing. I get to do whatever I want. And this is how I wanna break the tool in. So, so let's just look at the specs and get to it. All right, so the flex reciprocating saw weighs seven pounds and 6.2 ounces. And the 12 amp hour battery weighs four pounds and 2.9 ounces. As you can see right here, I just built a new fire pit, so we, or we're excited to use it, but I have a lot of wood over here that I need to chop up to be able to fit in that fire pit. So yeah, let's just, uh, let's just get to it. We will be using orbital feature for this. That's actually uh, quite a distance for orbital. Let's see how this goes. I want to cut like four to six inch pieces. Yeah, every single one of these is full of holes. So a timer would be useless right now. I gotta make sure I'm not on. Yeah, I'm good.
and the final cuts. This is getting hot. Time. Not too shabby. Let's throw those in the pile. Hell yeah, it's supposed to storm soon. And that's pretty much it. Let's go back inside. All right, let's do a let's do a temperature reading on this. 180, 110, 118, 129, 137, 119. All right, it seems to be hot right in the middle. 133 degrees. 136 degrees. 136. Oh, it is hot out there. It's gorgeous outside. All right, so very quickly, it does have a metal raptor hook for hanging it. There is a lock and unlock feature. It does have an orbital feature. So if it's up, that means it's gonna cut straight. If it's down, that means it's, it's sort of rotating it vertically to help just dig into the wood. It's really not a bad reciprocating saw and it's, it's actually compact. Because if you compare it to the, uh, the Milwaukee Super Sawzall, if you go butt to butt, now this is but to butt, as you can see, it is actually significantly longer than the Flex. So a versus video is coming between these two, so please subscribe to the channel for that. This is going to be a good one. It does have a pivoting shoe. Call it to insert the bit, just twist it like every other reciprocating saw. And there you go. It is in there and it is done. All right, so when it comes to the battery, the battery is depleted by one bar. It's, it's expected because it's a 12 amp hour battery, it will last you a while. But when it comes to this sort of compact reciprocating saw, it's really not bad. Now once again, the metal number for this is FX2271. And one last feature, on the bottom there is a button, you could actually take the shoe out. You could adjust this, you know, because what this would do is this would make you use a certain section of the blade so you can continue cutting without dulling one side of the blade constantly. So you just slide that back in, just like that. More videos of this are coming up, including versus videos. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.